Hey everybody and welcome back for another episode in our Unreal Engine 4 tutorial series in making a first person shooter. Now we've taken a little break between the last episode and this episode and this episode has been voted on by my Patreon supporters so if you want to support me and vote on upcoming videos head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell to make sure you're uh, notified when I upload the next video. So with that, that out of the way, let's talk about what we're doing today. So today we're looking at how to switch weapons. So we're going to switch from a primary weapon to a secondary weapon, a main weapon and a sidearm, okay, and back and forth. Now, this is quite a tricky thing to do because when you think about it, you've got an actor in your hand which has variables associated to it and you want to swap it to another actor which has different variables associated to it and you want to be able to interchange between the two. So there are many ways of going about how to do this. Um, the way I'm going to show you in this video is just one method. Okay, That doesn't mean it's wrong or right, uh, the perfect way. There are many other ways. Um, I'm sure you guys can experiment and find what you can from this video of how to approach this problem. So, let's get started. So, what we're going to do first of all is set up an input so we can actually toggle between our main weapon and our side weapon. So, go into Edit Menu and Project Settings and it will scroll down to the input section and we've been here before when we've done reloading and alternate fires uh, we're just going to add another action mapping to that list and this one's going to be called switch weapons and remember an action mapping is simply a toggle it's off or on so we're either switching weapons or we're not and the key i'm going to use for this is f at least for now with that done because it's now in that input list over there, we can right click here and type in switch weapons and you can see it now has an event. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is make a function which allows this switching of weapons to take place. So in your functions list on your player character, click on the plus function and we're going to go switch weapons. And back on my event graph, I'm just going to call that function with my switch weapon pressed event. Okay, so when I push the button for F, this will trigger this function. So I'm putting it into a function just to make it easier to read and um, access. So on the switch weapons here, we're gonna do a couple of things. We need to first of all check what weapon we've got currently equipped, so we we'll know which weapon to switch to. And then we're going to store the values that we've currently got on our gun, so they're ready to be called upon later when we bring our gun back into play. So to do that I'm going to create a couple of variables, but first of all I need to create a data structure to store those variables. So I'm going to go back to my content browser and I'm going to put it in my guns folder. And in here we're going to add a blueprint structure, data structure. And here I'm going to call it gun variables. And in gun variables, uh, when you open it up, you're going to get a list of variables that you want to be basically enclosed inside of this data structure. So the first one we're going to have is the gun type. And the gun type will be of, a, of the variable type gun parent. But you don't want object reference, you want a class reference, this purple one here. The difference between an object and a class is the class is sort of the general name okay it's just the general class okay the general thing it is whereas an object is an instance of it a copy okay so basically it's like the the recipe the, the original uh one and the objects that you see in the game are copies of that original class so we're going to choose a class reference for this and in here we're going to add another variable and this one's going to be called ammo current and that's going to be an integer Another new variable called ammo max. Another integer. And that will do for us and our gun variable. So click save. And we can close that down now. So on our first person character, we're going to add two variables. We're going to click on the plus variable. And this is going to be called main weapon. And this get data type is going to be what we just made. So I called my gun variables. So choose that gun variables list, that data structure, sorry. And we're gonna make another one. And this one's gonna be called side weapon. Uh, if you can't tell, we're making a game where you only hold two weapons at a time, sort of like a Halo type game. Um, 
so main weapon and side weapon. Uh, we're going to compile these, and we need to give it some starting values. Okay, so when we start the game up, we have a starting gun in our hand. So on the main weapon gun type, we're going to start off with our fully automatic, and give it some starting values of 15 bullets with a maximum of 100. And our side weapon, we're going to change it to our uh, our charged, and we're going to give it 15 bullets again, but only 50. Actually, let's change it to 10. There you go, 10 and 50. So, when we start the game, we have some weapons in our inventory. Okay. Right, with that now done, we go into our switch weapons function, as we are here, and we can now begin. So, the first thing we need to do is decide whether or not we're holding currently our main weapon or our side weapon. So, drag your gun component out, which is a child actor component. And from there, you want to get child actor class. So this is return the class of what actor you this is currently being held and we need to compare that to the main weapon we've got on our character so drag the main weapon out oh, choose get and we're going to split it so right click and choose split so we can access those individual variables that we typed in earlier so now we're going to compare these two purple ones so if they're equal to each other it means that we are currently holding our side our side arm so we can go to a branch and the true will switch our side our main weapon to our side arm if it's false that means we're currently holding our side arm therefore we can swap to our main weapon okay on the true branch now we're gonna do true branch first and then we can mostly copy and paste to the false branch it's not much different so the first thing we need to do is store all those values we've got currently in our gun so drag your gun out and you want to get child actor not class actor because the actor stores the ver that can't values okay so we want the child actor of that and we're going to cast that to gun parent hook up to the, the true so this cast is going to get us the gun that we've got currently equipped and with that gun we're going to get how much ammo we have in it and we're going to store all that inside of our uh, what we're swapping to here so if main gun is equal to that that means we're swapping to our sidearm so this is our main this is our main uh, main weapon currently so drag your main weapon variables out and get uh, set sorry choose set and we're going to right click and split structure And hook it up like so. So, from this as as gun parent, we're going to drag this out. Get class. And that goes in the top one. Get ammo current. And then finally, get ammo max. Okay, so now we're storing what the values of our main weapon in our hand into a variable. The reason why we're doing that is so that when we go back to our main weapon, we can just simply open up these variables and apply them to the new gun that we uh, bring up into our into our uh, player's hands. So after we've set that value, we've stored that data, we've saved it into this variable. We now go through the process of adding our side weapon to our gun actor here. So drag your gun child actor. And you will type in set child actor class. And the set child actor class will be a side weapon. Get. But right click and split. And because you want the class. Okay. Now we've got that set up. We now need to tell it what our values are in our side weapon. For our ammo count and ammo max. So we're going to do what we've done here cast the gun parent so we're going to go get gun get child actor cast to gun parent and as gun parent we're going to go set ammo current and set ammo max and hook these up 
now we need to plug in our values for ammo count and ammo max, which we get from our side weapon. So get, then split, ammo current, ammo max. And there you go, that's now swapped to the side weapon. Now we're going to duplicate all of this for the primary weapon. So select it all, copy, paste, with control C, control V. And now we hook this up to false and we just change things as we need them. So we're still casting to this here and we're still getting the ammo current, you know, getting the class, but we're not storing it in the main weapon gun type. Instead, we're storing it in the side weapon. So get side weapon and to set and then split it and plug it all in and likewise where it says side weapon you want to swap that for main weapon to so get split class and then here again main weapon get split ammo current ammo max okay now that will now swap between our primary and our secondary weapons. So if I click compile and go into the game, click play. So there's my assault rifle. Hit F. And I've got my charge weapon. Now notice how the user interface has broken. It has, doesn't work. That's because things have changed. And therefore the, uh, the user interface doesn't know what's going on. Now the reason why it doesn't know what's going on is if I go to my user interface and into the ammo counter, all this code is on the construct. So when it builds it to the screen, it is getting the currently equipped weapon. However, this is once that's built on the screen, that's built on the screen. This doesn't change. We need to make this change as we change our gun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom event here and call it update and plug that into the cast just like the event construct is and what we're going to do is call this update event when we switch weapons so it will update the user interface to whatever gun we've got currently held click compile go back to your first of the character and at the end of the both of the branches we're going to update it now previously we put the heads up display in the controller so we're going to go get controller and then we're going to cast that to FPS controller and then as FPS controller we can get the heads up display and then from there I can get the ammo counter and then from there finally I can update click compile now if I go back to test it so here I am with my assault rifle hit F and you can see the user interface has changed as well I hit F again and you can see it's stored the values from previously like so and that's it that's the basics of switching weapon um, there's a few things you can do extra with this um, but allow you to experiment and play around with that if you have any other questions about how to do certain things in FPSs, please let us know in the comments below. It'd be interested to see what you guys want to see, and um, I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, and massive thank you and support to everyone that's supported me so far. Um, couldn't be doing it without you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.